What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Here is another set of GRE vocabulary. For the people who are preparing for the ACT and SAT, this will be another set of challenge vocabulary. Today's list of words. Extenuating, haphazard, indignity, jejun, jocular, poly, poly, qualify, quotidian, sanguinary, scourge, visceral. First word, extenuating, is partially excusable, so justifying. For example, we must consider all extenuating or excusable justifying circumstances. Haphazard is happening at hazard, so taking a risk or doing dangerous work, so careless, disorderly. Indignity. Prefix in here means not, so no dignity, uh, so insult or humiliation. Jejun, like juvenile stuff, naive or boring. For example, I find the gossip most jejun or most boring. Jocular, joking around. So playful or humorous. Pale. Prefix par here means completely, and it originally means to lay or gamble all your money. So use something to get something else. For example, he polyed bitcoins into a big fortune which means he used bitcoins to make a lot of money. Poly, on the other hand, uh, prefix par here means second definition, through. So talk it through or discuss, negotiate. For example, we must poly our differences first. We must discuss our differences first. Um, if you still struggle with prefix, suffix, root words, I strongly recommend you go back and take a look at those first because you will need them again and again, not only learning difficult vocabulary in this class, but also many questions in SAT GRE that you must know the nuance in order to understand the intentions of asked questions. It will compensate some spare time, which most people unequivocally long for in a test like SAT and GRE. Next word, qualify. Generally, it means measure up to a standard, but in SAT GRE, also we use definitions like specify or restrict because it can be construed as specifying conditions of a job or Restricting access to the disqualified. Quotidian, like tedious quote, is ordinary, every day. Sanguinary, originated from the idea of sacred blood of Jesus Christ. Uh, ironically, it is mostly employed in a negative connotations like Blood stained or blood thirsty. Scourge literally uh, means a severely whipping, which is a form of punishment. Metaphorically used as a source of suffering, so menace or threat. For example, we must tackle the scourge of unemployment right now. We must tackle the threat of unemployment right now. Visceral, uh, derivative of a noun, viscera, which is internal organ. So deeply felt or feeling in your guts. Okay, let's review the word. Extenuating, partially excusable, so justifying. Haphazard, uh, happening at hazard, so careless, 
disorderly, indignity, no dignity, so insult, humiliation, jejun, like juvenile stuff, naive, boring, jocular, joking around, so playful, humorous, pale, uh, completely lay or stake your money, so use something to get something else, poly, talk it through, so discuss, negotiate, qualify, Specify condition or restrict access. Quotidian, typical quote, so ordinary or everyday. Sanguinary, sacred blood, so blood stained, blood thirsty. Scourge, source of suffering, so menace, threat. Visceral, viscera is uh, internal vital organs, so deeply felt or feeling in your guts. That's going to do it for today. I am Sam DIY Warsmith. Happy learning.